Here we are in week five of Mo with Mo highlights. As we get the first matchup of the night, the Bombers and the Mojo and Sam Skibby and Nick Bone start this game by dealing. All right, in the top of the second inning, though, Nick Bone trying to help his own cause, and he does just that. All right, bottom of the third runner on second, two outs, and Nick Bone to Quentin, and Quentin goes down the line, making it first and third, but he gets Chris Metter looking to get out of the jam. Top of the fourth inning. Skibby still dealing here. Nick Bone pops out, and it turns out that Skibby gets out of this inning in less than a minute to extend the game. Bottom of the fourth inning now. Skibby takes the walk. Brett Spencer takes the walk. He gets Greg Thornton swinging for two away now. Runners on, or one away, second and third. Quentin Meyer goes down swinging for two away. And now Nick Bone to Chris Matter. Two outs, last inning, and Chris Matter puts the mojo on top. Next batter is Sam Skibby, and he goes deep, extending the lead, and Cam collides with the fence trying to make the catch. All right, top of the fifth inning, last chance for the Bombers, and Cam starts it off with a double. Jake Welnick rips one down the line, first and third now. And there's two away now. Last chance for the Bombers, Nick Bone, and he's gonna go down looking. So the Mojo take this one four to one. Nick Bone with his first home run of the year. Chris Metter and Sam Skibby both hit home runs. Sam Skibby throws five innings, one earned run, 12 Ks. Nick Bone saddened with the loss, four innings, four earned runs, 11 Ks. Second matchup of the night between these two squads. And Right in the first inning, already in trouble, and Jackson, Jackson Crosley. No one's there, and it's gone. Jackson Crosley. Bottom of the first now, chance for the Bombers. And Cam goes the other way for a double. And now Welnick just foul. Gets another chance and this time goes down looking. And Jackson out of the inning. Here's Greg with a runner on second and he goes down swinging. So the Bombers get out of their jam. Bottom of the third now, Sam Skibby, runner on second base. And Skibby goes deep for the second time of the night. He hits a bomb as, as Justin slips. Next batter is Brett Spencer. And Brett. Back to back home runs for the Mojo, putting them on top five, nothing. The Bombers in the bottom of the third, trying to have an answer and Cam Smith goes deep, but Sam Skibby does it on all sides of the ball as he robs him of a home run.
the top of the fourth, Paul Pugh on the mound now, and Brett Spencer goes deep for the second time tonight. So Mojo take this one nine to nothing as Sam Skibby hits his third home run of the night of, of the year and Brett Spencer hits two. Jackson Crosley also hits a home run this game. Crosley improves himself to three and oh, still not giving up a run. Four innings, nine Ks. The second series of the night is the Archers versus the Melonheads. Jordan Smith versus Jason Worstenholm on the mound. And in the first inning, right back up the middle. And then what do you know, does it again. Two back to the mound and two plays for the pitcher. Oh, he gets Jimmy on a nasty pitch. Gets Jason Worstenholm swinging. And Sam Eichenlob works the double walk. And then Ryan Brown chases one high. Out of the little bit of a jam there. Head to the bottom of the second, a jam for Jason Worsenholm. He gets Tony Saggio swinging at the 55 and under to get out of this one. Sam Eichenlob now in the top of the third inning with two outs. And Sam is going to get all of this one. On a changeup from Jordan Smith. I think he tried to sneak it by. And Sam Eichenlob took advantage. Bottom of third inning now, two outs and Jordan Smith at the plate. And Jordan shoots this one right up the middle. Jason won't catch this one as a hard hit single. And now Rory goes right down the line and Ryan Brown can't quite handle this one. So now two on, two outs for Tony Saggio who's gonna go down swinging out of the jam. Bottom of the fourth inning now. And James Chaney pops it up, but Jason does not come in and make the play. So a runner on first base, Brian Hunter goes down swinging. And now Jordan Smith goes the other way past a diving Jimmy Stout. Two on, one out. Rory Rank goes down looking, two away. Tony Saggio strikes him out. And the Melonheads take this one one to nothing. Sam Eichenlob hits his first home run of the year. Jordan Smith goes two for four. Rory picks up the hit. Jason goes four innings, 10 Ks, two walks. Jordan Smith saddened with the loss on four innings, one earned run, nine strikeouts. A little bonus wiffle ball from week one as we have the bases loaded extra inning from week one makeup and Jordan Smith pitching in this one and he is pitching with a little anger after losing game one of the night as he gets Sam Eichenlob and Ryan Brown swinging and then gets Jimmy Stout. Oh my, and that's a no hitter. And we'll just turn it over to the park. A no hitter, an immaculate wow. inning. Unbelievable. And here we go, folks. This is the first ever home run derby. Bring their names up when oh, they come up, okay? That's a good idea. No, this year. Excuse me. Yeah, first, first this, year. this year. Second ever. Foot inside the circle. Jordan it takes it. Will it go? Go! Yeah. Oh, the the pressure set. is on. Wow. Wow, he just did an immaculate inning, waits for the first pitch and goes. Now the pressure is on for Jason Worsham, the captain of the Melonheads. Captain, captain, first, captain. first captain. Kind of low, like you are. 
Oh, it doesn't matter. Jason, no almost double fences. And we'll go to round number two. Wow. Round number two. Goes up. Is it gonna have enough? I don't think so. It is. Look it up. Oh, smoke. Brian Hunter's coming up. It's true. So it's kind of good. The archer. Oh, oh, oh! It hits the fence. I mean, it was one and a half feet from going over. He hit the third tier out there, and he rips it at Jimmy. Did it hit Jimmy? Hitting the. And he grounded it, and, and I missed the this thing, but he is it. Jimmy's moment. Oh, it's up. Oh, it's it's going. No. Oh, and carry. we roll oh, over to God. the top again. We probably should have figured that out beforehand. And he hits a foul oh. ball. Wow. Jason it's Russell over. ends it it's back to back anyway. over the oh, first oh, fence. My goodness. Oh. He was very excited. Wow. It went all the way down the Basketball list. M. So, the next matchup of the night, game two of the actual series, the third deciding game, but this one gets led off by Jordan Smith, making it one nothing Archers. Now Brian Hunter with a runner on and a little check swing hit makes it first and third with two outs now and Jordan Smith gonna get a piece of this one again and it gets by Jimmy and now it's 2-0 Archers early. Rory Rank ends up going down looking. Now an opportunity here for the Melon Heads and he's going to walk in a run making it 2-1. Tony Saggio in his first inning of pitching of Mo Whiff and finds himself in some walk trouble two to two now. So then later in the inning, Ryan Brown has one of the weirdest at bats we've ever seen. A pitch hits his bat. Two pitches later, another ball hits his bat. And then Tony Saggio ends up getting him on the high riser to get out of the jam. All right, top of the second inning now and Brian Hunter a very close, ultimately ruled a home run. Very close down the line to put them on top three to two. All right, bottom of the second inning now, and Jordan still dealing. Striking out both Jimmy and Jason, and then getting Sam to pop out to second. Top of the third inning now. Jason can't handle this hit from Rory as he picks up the single. James Chaney with one away now. He goes right down the line, and now we got two on. Against his former team, and now Brian Hunter does it again, and there's no doubt about this one. It's now six to two, inning continues, and Jordan Smith puts one over Jason's head for the triple. He ends up getting Tony Saggio to ground out here. And now the last opportunity for the Melonheads in the bottom of the third. And Brian Brown chases the riser high. Jimmy Stout goes down swinging. Goes down swinging. And that is the ball game. So Archers take this one six to two. Jordan Smith with a home run and Brian Hunter hits two. Jason Worsenholm picks up an RBI going 0 for 3. Sam Eichenlob saddened with the loss. Three innings, six earned runs. Tony Saggio started this game but does not get the win. But he does pitch one inning, three Ks. Thanks for tuning in to week five of Mo Whiff Mo Highlights. Make sure you tune in every Thursday to watch the games live. And check out Mo Whiff Mo Highlights every week to see 
the best moments of each game. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on all major social media platforms.